Hey everybody, this is Qua. I'm going to show you how to create a custom opt-in form using the form builder for get response. This is going to be for people who don't have a hosted uh, or self-hosted WordPress site where they can start building um, these opt-in forms or, or using opt-in form plugins or for people who don't want to pay the monthly service fees for companies uh, to create opt-in forms for them. There are other um, options of course but I'm showing you how to do this the free way uh, so that you can get started right away without having to invest in uh, too many things right now. Um, I want to emphasize that this is a good starting point but eventually you will need to or you should start having your own hosted domain so that you can uh, host your own opt-in form so that they look a lot better. Um, I mean frankly the 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 uh, opt-in form builder for get responses is, is pretty good but it doesn't really and you know in my opinion it's not the best um, it you know what for me an opt-in form should look as good as possible and what you can do with get response is going to be serviceable but it's not going to be the best as it can be so um, without any further ado let me let me just start first you will of course have to log into your get response account and then you first thing you want to do is you click on web forms at the top menu and then you click on create new all right and then you're going to have um, you know this screen here and before I go on I'm going to show you exactly what the opt-in form will look like in the end uh, so let me turn to here okay so this is going to be the opt-in form that you are going to create and this is what it's going to look like um, by the time we're done um, of course you can use your own images and you can have your own text and this is all going to be customizable so I'm going to show you how to do that so what you want to do is um, first you set the width okay and I have an image that's pretty wide so I'm going to set it at 500 pixels alright and then you know it everything is, is all the changes that you make are going to be real time okay another thing that I want to start off I didn't mention is that in order for you to use to add images to um, the opt-in forms like the, what I've done you're going to need to have a photo bucket account okay the reason why is because you have to have the images hosted somewhere and unfortunately get response won't host the images for you so they need to be on a web page so that you can grab the link to it and a photo bucket I like it because it's 100% free and what you can do is that it it has the links already set up for you and I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean by that so basically here here's my photo bucket account and then all I have to do is um, click on get links and this is the image I'm going to use and then it has different links for the types of things or, or or the types of um, use that you anticipate okay for today I anticipate using the HTML link and I'll explain that to you um, but let me go back to get response all right so in order to place the image in to the headline okay and I want to do I want to have the image at the very top so I want to click on edit header right here and the thing about the edit header the header is that you can use you can put in HTML code all right um, meaning that you can and that's actually how you're going to place the images but if you have no interest in in placing images then you can just type in you know what you want to type in and I'm gonna go and actually just use the text I have here already 
and just copy that and then I just and paste it all right okay so if you don't like I said if you don't want to have an image then th really this is all you need okay just the text but I think that with an opt-in form an image is going to be more compelling especially for this type of opt-in form which is for weight uh, weight loss um, newsletter so here's the thing you go back to edit image and what you want to do is you want to click on HTML this little button right here okay and then you just click enter and you go to your photo bucket account and then where it says HTML and you just click on it it'll copy for you automatically and then you go back to your HTML header and then you paste alright so what I've done is I pasted the HTML code that tells get response where this image is stored alright and then just click update and then there you have it you see that the image has been um, has been posted here okay and then um, if you wanna if you wanna center the image then you just click on the image and click center right here and it'll center and if you wanna center the text then you wanna click on the center and it'll center for you and if you wanna add spaces between the image and the text then you just kinda go to the very front of the text and then click on and then uh, do a do a uh, carriage return or, or enter same thing and then you just apply and there you have it so the image here and then the text here and of course you have the name the email that should be self-explanatory and then now you want to do is you want to change the um, button to access or to um, to opt in and I like to make it to get access now and then you apply and if you want to change the button color then this is what you do you click on underneath the submit button area Dropbox right here you, you, you click on show advanced okay and then what you want to do is then where it says background there's a little uh, multicolor square here and then you just click on that and then and then this will give you what the current button color is and then if you want to move it to to whatever color you want it to be uh, you can be you know it could be hot pink red or yellow or whatever um, I'm gonna have it at a little bit orange or if you if you know um, the color codes like for instance each color has its own code you can actually enter it right here uh, in this box okay for instance this color this orange color over here is ff6 f0 f um, and if you want to change it and if you know the exact precise color code um, you can do that okay but in the but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to use the slider and then apply and then basically um, you can change this text as well you know right here it says we respect with privacy what I would like to do is give people a compound reason to enter a, an email here's the thing is that a lot of times when people ask opt-in forms put their information in opt-in forms they put a fake email and here's one way in which I try to get people to input a valid email okay and by telling them by, by explaining to them that the information that they're requesting is going to be delivered to their email so that's why a valid email is necessary so here I'm, I'm going to type in valid email required for delivery of videos okay apply and then there you go so this text down below will say this um, and if I don't want this part where it says email marketing to get response so I'm going to turn that off All right. Um, 
and I think that should be it. And if you actually, if you want to count or have a counter of how many people have opted in, then you can add this right here, right? Um, and that's pretty much it, okay? This is, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the same opt-in form that um, I showed you. Yep, pretty much it. Or, except for this right here, the text, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, then you click Next Step, okay? And then um, you want to give it a name, um, you know. I'm going to just give you a test form because, and then you click next step okay and here's what you want to do is you want to click on get response will host my web form okay and when you click on that then it will give you a link to share okay so if, right here here's a link and what will happen is that if I enter this into web browser that opt-in form is going to pop up okay so basically this is going to be um, what you are sharing or what you are going to be presenting to people who you want to have um, sign into your newsletter your list or whatever that you are trying to promote okay so I hope this has been helpful to you. Again, um, this technique will get you by and is good for you uh, for you at the very beginning at your, when you're starting to learn how to do everything. Uh, but again, you know, but I would recommend that eventually you want to transition to having a self-hosted WordPress um, site so that you can have plugins for creating you know, really good-looking opt-in forms. Um, but this will do for now. Anyway, my name is Kwa, and I'm here to help you break through.